everyone, it's me, Mrs. Ladderback, working from home again. I just got done with practice and thought I would get a head start on uh, the lesson for tomorrow. So today, um, or rather tomorrow, whenever you watch this video, um, you're going to be learning about uh, the Continental Puzzle. So I'm going to ask you to read and annotate an article called A Continental Puzzle. And then while you're reading and annota uh, annotating the article, um, you're going to also answer questions related to the article. So in Google Classroom, um, I've got a Google Doc for you. And what I'd recommend is that you open up the Google Doc. It's the 2020 A Continental Puzzle. Um, it's going to have information about annotating the article, highlighting vocabulary, providing definitions, um, and then answering questions. Uh, you have four questions to answer. Who was Alfred Wegener? How did Wegener use the shapes of the continents as evidence that the continents had moved? How did Wegener use similar mountain ranges that areas made of certain types of rocks found in Africa and South America as evidence that these two continents were once connected? And lastly, how did Wegener use fossils as evidence that continents had moved? So basically, uh, through these questionings, you're interpreting evidence that Wegener had for his theory of continental drift. Okay, to get to the article, you're going to click on the blue link here and it will open you up to Amplify and you're going to log in with your Google account. When you uh, log into Amplify and you pull up the article, A Continental Puzzle, um, it should have the numbers for you, um, as you can see here, one, two, uh, for the paragraphs. Um, what you're going to then do is you're going to read the article and annotate as you go. Now, if you are a struggling reader, that is perfectly okay. Um, I would recommend the speaker right here. If you click on the speaker, it'll read the article to you. A continental puzzle. For scientists, making big discoveries and sharing them with the public can be a big deal. Often, their right. discoveries come after years of hard work, <laughs> oh, and they yes. finally get to see the results of what they've done. Okay, now here's the thing. The important thing is you don't just push play and you tune out. What you should do is you push play and you follow along with the reader. And as you find something important that comes, al comes along, you pause the video and you make uh, an, an, an annotation. So one of the things that you're asked to annotate are um, the vocabulary words. So lucky for you, it gives you a little clue in the vocabulary because they're underlined for you. So you can copy the text and highlight the vocabulary. Okay, so I can highlight continents and then I can highlight surface. I don't have my mouse with me, so it's being a little um, picky right now. Oh, there we go. All right. The other thing that um, you need to do is provide a definition for your vocabulary. If you click on the term, it'll give you the definition. So the definition of surface is the outside or top layer of something. So I'm going to go back to my doc and I'm going to type that in. Outside or top layer of something. Um, I had already did continents earlier and so that's why it's on there so you want to have both of these open at the same time so you can go back and forth between your google doc and your article as it's being read to you or you are reading it um, another thing that you're asked to do is to um, annotate important um, important things that come up things that are the main idea or things that you find interesting so during Wagner's lifetime, other scientists thought his claim was too strange to be true. <laughs> Sorry, I guess the laundry's done. <laughs> um, so I can highlight that. And I would also recommend that you highlight it in a different color so that you can see the difference between your vocabulary terms and your main idea or evidence. Um, you can even um, uh, highlight and make notes. So I can come over here and I can make a note. All right, uh, so here I'm highlighting at the time many scientists mocked Wagner's claim. I might make a note that is rude and not kind. People should be kind and open to other others' ideas. Okay, and there's my note. 
All right, so I'm going to read the article. I'm going to highlight the vocabulary. I'm going to type the vocabulary into my Google Doc. I'm going to look for main ideas or things that interest me and make notes. And then I'm going to answer the four questions. When you're done, you want to click uh, turn in and get points for this. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in class. Have a fantastic day. Bye, y'all.